Siberian Huskies are probably best known for their incredible sled pulling skills, but these doggies aren't all business. They indeed make excellent working dogs, as they were originally bred to help the Chukchi people of Siberia hunt more efficiently, but they're seriously sweet, friendly, and loyal cuddle bugs too. These are the things you all know, but today we will tell you 7 fun facts about Siberian Huskies you may not know. 7. They are close to being wolves. Siberian Huskies are not wolves, but evolved from a common ancestor. Huskies originate from Siberia many hundreds of years ago, and they belong to the Spitz genetic family which, at least for the last 5,000 years, has not been influenced by wolves. But as high arctic dogs, they share some genetic similarities with Tymur wolf. They may look similar to wolves, but their behaviors are very different. You see it in their pointed ears, penetrating eyes, and pronounced snout. We should point out, however, that dogs are unlikely to have derived from wolves. According to a 2014 study, it is likely they both came from a common ancestor somewhere between 9,000 and 34,000 years ago. Despite the Siberian Husky's similar appearance, they are smaller than their wild wolf cousins. They measure around 56 to 60 centimeters at the withers, while the wolf in the wild is more likely to reach around 80 to 85 centimeters. 6. They can have two different colored eyes and colored coats. Owing to a benign genetic condition known as heterochromia, Siberian Huskies can often be found with two different colored eyes. This is a hereditary trait which gives them an incredible look, especially as one of these eyes is usually an incredible blue color. This occurs in other animals and is also a trait found in humans. Huskies can have colorful coats. We often think of thick gray and white or black and white coats when we think of Siberian Huskies, but the colors of their coats can vary greatly. According to the American Kennel Club, Huskies coats can be one of six colors. Black, agouti, gray, red, sable, and white. But there are tons of variations out there. Five they can adapt to any environment. The Husky, as you may know, is a dog which can adapt without problem to cold and icy climates. Its thick fur is a testimony to their endurance in the country of their namesake. Surprisingly, the Siberian Husky is also able to adapt to more temperate climates, unlike other Nordic dogs such as the Alaskan Malamute. These latter dogs often suffer unbearably in heat. The Husky sheds its coat twice a year, once between spring and summer, and another between autumn and winter. However, hair shedding can also occur between these two periods, although always in small quantities. If you see your husky losing a lot of hair very quickly, especially if not during shedding season, then it is advisable that you take them to the vet to rule out an underlying health problem. It's no secret that huskies love snow. Virtually all individual Siberians have some interest in it, undoubtedly due to the important part it played in their heritage. Perhaps it is for similar reasons they are so attracted to water and falling leaves in autumn. Huskies have a thick double coat that keeps them well insulated. Their undercoat is short and warm, while the overcoat is long and water resistant. Their almond-shaped eyes allow them to squint to keep out snow. Huskies will wrap their tails around their faces while they sleep. Their breaths warm the tail and keeps the nose and face protected from the cold. 4. Their vocalization ability is unique. The Husky is an especially talkative dog with the ability to emit an incredible range of sounds. Their howling is particularly noticeable and it can be heard up to 15 kilometers away. Some Huskies even seem to sing, whine, or even talk, although it is very uncommon for them to bark. Huskies are very talkative. If you have a Husky, you know they are very talkative. They're known for their jabbering, groaning, and grumbling. But did you know a Husky's howl can be heard from miles away? Talk about chatty, huh? 3. Huskies are one of the oldest dogs in the world. The Husky was raised by the Chukchi tribe in northern Siberia, a people located close to the Eskimo people. Huskies were developed as working sled dogs over thousands of years by the Chukchi people living in the Siberian peninsula of Northeast Asia. The area is home to one of the most hostile and extreme climates in the world where winds can reach 100 miles per hour and temperatures can drop to 100 degrees below zero. 
With teams of up to 20 dogs pulling their sleds out onto the ice in their search for food, the Chukchi relied on the dogs for survival, and the dogs were central to the people's life and culture. 2. Huskies were born to run Alongside the Chukchi tribe, the Husky worked as sled dogs. They carried food and supplies from one place to another, but, contrary to popular belief, they were not often used to transport people in these early days. They were chosen to carry out these special tasks for various reasons, such as their resistance to cold and their ability to survive well on long journeys. The sled was pulled by a score of dogs, each one with their own personal role on the team. When the semi-nomadic Chukchi people of Siberia had to expand their hunting grounds some 3,000 years ago, they sought to breed the ideal sled dog. These dogs had to have endurance, a high tolerance to cold, and the ability to survive on very little food. The resulting pups could carry loads over long distances without food or warmth. While there is controversy as to how pure the lineage is, Siberian Huskies are widely believed to be the closest to the original Chukchi dogs. Huskies often run long distances on very little food. When humans attempt this, we start to use our body's glycogen and fat and eventually get fatigued. But Huskies burn a lot of calories without ever tapping into these other energy stores. And they do this by regulating their metabolism. Before the race, the dog's metabolic makeup is similar to humans. Then suddenly, they throw a switch. We don't know what it is yet. That reverses all of that. Animal exercise researcher Dr. Michael S. Davis told the New York Times. In a 24-hour period, they go back to the same type of metabolic baseline you see in resting subjects. But it's while they are running 100 miles a day. 1. They fit with different types of family. YouTube is full of cute and funny videos of huskies having fun. But why are they so popular? They are undoubtedly an excellent playmate for children, a great member of any hiking team, and a sensitive and intelligent dog on a daily basis. Its character is unique and can vary. It is important you keep this dog mentally stimulated and offer various forms of entertainment to ensure they don't grow bored. The breed is only ranked 77th on Stanley Corin's list of intelligent dogs, but this is more to do with its stubbornness and difficulty to train. They exude joy and curiosity, so you need to ensure you have the right level of discipline and motivation to keep these dogs engaged. If you're adding a high-energy husky to the family, be prepared to exercise him or her a lot. According to the American Kennel Club, Siberian huskies are bred to run. They need regular exercise. How you achieve regular exercise is up to you and the doggo, whether you choose to walk, swim, run, play, or even sled. It shouldn't run a 5K straight out of the gate and only exercise outdoors on cool days with low humidity. Huskies' super dense coats may make them less tolerant of activity in the heat. If you live in a warm climate or want to exercise your husky during the summer months, stick to water activities like swimming or playing in the sprinkler. Anyone looking for a husky guard dog will be sorely disappointed because huskies are simply too friendly and too trusting of strangers. The upside to this charming character trait they make amazing furry family members. So, if you live in a cooler climate, have a big backyard, a pup's gotta get his energy out somewhere, and have kids, a husky might be the perfect pick for your family. Do share with us in the comments if you love this breed and know more fun facts about them. Please subscribe to The Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching!